this first day of Black History Month, who is going to tell the history of black on Hispanic violence, comma, so wildly out of proportion? It's not just a rob, it's not just them, they almost killed him. In this exclusive interview, the victim's brother, whose face is blurred for safety reasons, vividly remembers the night of January 20th. We were calling him, the, the phone was off, they, turn, they took the phone, turned it off, um, and then to eight, like 8.20, the police came to my house. His brother was supposed to return home from his new job, but never did. Cops informed the family that the 19-year-old was viciously attacked and robbed of his cell phone and money at Burke and Matthews Avenues. Police releasing new surveillance video of the suspects today. The beating not happening far away from where the victim lives. Police say after the suspects put the victim in a chokehold and slammed him onto the pavement, they continued to pummel the unconscious teen. I was worried, like um, my mom, you know, my brother, I was worried like until I saw him. It was sad. The 19-year-old suffering facial fractures and bleeding in the brain. The family asking us to blur the picture of the victim to protect his identity. Beaten up so bad. Oh, Lord have mercy. Customers of H&M Deli, where the victim used to work, can't even recognize the teen because of his wounds. The deli says this should not have happened, especially to him. He's a good kid. You have no problem with nobody. The victim's family, originally from Yemen, wants the attackers caught so the Bronx Community College student who's awake now can continue following his dream of becoming a doctor. They should go to jail. That's their place. Like, they're the animals. Please, sir, I want some more. And where are all the fantasies and fairy tales about people of color? When are the Hispanics going to stand up and wonder why they are victims of all this black violence from people they're supposed to be brothers and sisters and fellas with? It's a big fairy tale. It's a big myth. All created for one reason. Not to make the black kids angry.